How does it bounce? Hey everybody, this is your Hamilton HIT workout. So we do not need any equipment and we do have a warm up included. So let's make our way down to the mat. Putting 30 seconds on the clock, we will meet in a high plank. So once you're in your plank, we'll shift the hips up for a down dog and then roll through the spine coming back down. Now if a high plank is not your wheelhouse, you can do this. Child's pose into modified plank, making sure you're dropping those hips down and forward every single time. So we're just trying to bring a little bit of movement into the spine, into the hamstrings, the hips, the shoulders. Just about five seconds left here. And we'll meet down in tabletop. So hands and shoulders stacked and the knees and hips stacked as we reach one arm out, opposite leg and down. Switching and down. So just an alternating bird dog, starting to fire up that core, making sure that we're thinking front to back rather than up and down. So it's not about height, it's about length. Finish out your last round and we'll step the right foot to the outside of the right hand, holding it here. Good, just letting that hip open up. Open the chest. And switch to the other side. So we wanna make sure, especially before a very explosive workout, we're not stretching the muscles out too, too much. We don't wanna like give them the wrong message, put them to sleep. We just wanna get a little bit of lengthening going. Perfect, back in your tabletop, right hand to the right ear, big T-spine rotation, and down. We'll take again 15 seconds on each side. And switch. Finishing up your last round, we'll come down onto the stomach, hands by the ears like you're gonna do a crunch. We lift everything up and everything down. So just warming up the muscles of the back here, which are gonna support us with beautiful, perfect posture for our entire workout. Give me one more. Beautiful, pausing our clock, we'll flip over onto the back for some single leg bridges. So we're gonna start with the right leg up, left leg is down, eight reps here. And our focus is gonna be up fast, down slow. Good, so let's start all together. Here's one, and down. Good, again. Last one here. And switch sides, right to the other side. Eight reps. Beautiful, both feet on the floor. 30 seconds, resume on the clock. Bridge up and down. So this is where we'll end our warm up. This is serving not only to um, work out the glutes here, really making sure that they're nice and activated and warm. You should feel a nice stretch through the front of those legs. Hips, quads, whew, feels good to me at least. Less than 10 seconds. And let it go. Hug those knees into the chest. Give yourself a little rock side to side. And when you are ready, we will meet standing for that hit circuit. So we are diving right on into that hit circuit. The format of our workout today is 30 seconds of work and then 30 seconds of rest. We have five exercises to get through and we're gonna repeat it four times. So let me show you our first exercise to start. It is a seal jack squat. So bringing the hands uh, together, palms face each other, as well as those feet are also together. We're gonna jump open into our squat and up. Down, up. I'm doing it off the mat just because I have a tendency to like get really tripped up. Totally up to you. So, 30 seconds of work here, making sure that we're really exploding up at the top. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Together, down. Up, down. Up, down. So I have a little turnout 
of the toes, almost like a sumo position here. Like somewhere in the city, someone in a rush, next to someone looking pretty. Excuse me, miss. And let it go down to the mat. I'm gonna take my 30 seconds to show you our next exercise. We had a forearm plank. Whoo, legs are wide for stability. One arm reaches, then the other, then we're coming up and down. If you need to do that on the knees, perfectly fine. The goal here is to make sure that the hips are not swiveling side to side. Whew, you got 10 seconds, so pick your poison. You can play with each one. Maybe you start up, maybe you bring the knees down halfway through. Let's do it. So again, one reach, one reach, up, up, down, down. Switch which arm is starting each time. Trust me. And stand it up. Whew. Okay, next exercise. We've got a good morning with a lateral shuffle. Again, I'm gonna go behind my mat for tripping purposes. So hands are up by the ears. Feet are about hip width apart. Hinge the hips back, squat it down, shuffle to the other side. So if I turn to the side for that good morning, you're gonna see that hips are leading this. Core is staying engaged, chest is staying open. So no rounding of that spine. Let's go in three, two, and one. So we hinge it over, end up, squat it down, lateral shuffle. Make sure that shuffle doesn't turn into a chasse. Okay, not what we're looking for here. We want it low to work those legs. Let's go. All right, all right. That's what I'm talking about. Now, everyone, give it up for the maid of honor, Angelica Skyler. A toast to the groom. To the groom, to the groom. Drop it down. Crab toe touches. So we're gonna hit our crab position and we're gonna alternate one arm to the opposite toe. All right, if that is a little bit too much for you, you can always isolate just the legs. Whew. I'm gonna take my 15 seconds with you all. All right, final 10. No tricep dip in here. We're simply just trying to keep the hips in one position by using the obliques. Here we go. Three, two, and one. And let it go. All right, if you were watching, I fell once in there. <laughs> Next exercise, final one. This is number five. I'm gonna show you advanced, then a little bit easier. We've got a jump lunge. So we're jumping. You're gonna twist toward the front leg. Jump, twist. If a jump lunge is not in your wheelhouse right now, I want you to add a stagger jump in between, up, down. And if that's still not in your wheelhouse, we're just reverse lunging, all right? Three, two, and one, let's go. Is that right? I've never been satisfied. My name is Angelica Schuyler. Alexander Hamilton. Where's your family from? Unimportant, there's a million things I haven't done. Just you wait, just you wait. So, so, so. so this is what it feels like to match wit with someone at your level. What the hell is the catch? It's the feeling of freedom of seeing the light. It's been Franklin with the Let it go. Woo! All right. 30 seconds. We're going back to the top. Seal jack squat. Not terrible, right? Nothing too crazy. Woo! So let your heart rate come down here. I say this in every single HIIT workout, but we wanna remember that this is interval training. This is not meant to be steady state cardio. So we want that heart rate up and down and up and down. That's why we take the breaks, all right? Five seconds. Let's go. Three, two, and one. You got it. I'm about 
to change your life. Then by all means, lead the way. Number one. I'm a girl in a world in which my only job is to marry rich. My father has no son, so I'm the one who has to social climb the wood. So I'm the oldest and the wittiest and the gossip in New York City is insidious. And Alexander is penniless. <laughs> that doesn't mean I want to marry less. Bring it down. 30 seconds here. We got those plank reaches into an up down. So we've already gone one round with all of these exercises. Start to ask yourself, was it challenging enough? Was it too challenging? So what do you need to do here to modify? Remember, we still have two full rounds after this. Whew. That's the great thing about a lot of these exercises, y'all. You can stick in them. Um, even if the intensity is really high, you can just pull it back a little bit. Here we go. Three, two, and one. At night, it's Alexander's eyes as I romanticize what might have been if I hadn't sized him up so quickly. At least, my dear Eliza's his wife. Let it go. Whew. Stand her on up. Good morning. Lateral shuffle. Whew. All right. So, if this is not your first hit workout with me, you know that my fifth or my my third exercise, that middle one, is always a little bit more of an active recovery. So if you're feeling like it's way too easy, your heart rate is coming too far down, you can always add a jump before you go to the other side, or you can increase the tempo. Let's do it. Bring it down. Okay. Crab toe touches. Whew. It's always nice when your next exercise is on the floor because you get to sit in between. <laughs> okay. Take your breath here. If this felt really tough on the wrist and with the plank, take a little stretch here. So bringing the tops of the hands down, making sure we've got mobility in both directions. Whew. All right. Start her up. You have the floor, sir. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We fought for these ideals, we shouldn't settle for less. These are wise words, enterprising men quote them. Don't act surprised, you guys, cause I wrote them. Ow, but Hamilton forgets. His plan would have the government assume state debts. Now place your bets as to who that benefits. The very seat of government where Hamilton sits. Not true. Oh, if the shoe fits, wear it. If New York's in debt, why should Virginia bear it? Uh, our debts are paid on Let it go. Standing up, jump lunge with the twist. I'm actually gonna take mine behind the mat. I just don't wanna risk it. There's some video somewhere of me tripping on my mat and then I just like chuck it at the camera. It's on our on-demand platform somewhere within the Fit Club membership. So if you find it, I don't know, it's like Willy Wonka, you win the golden ticket. All right, y'all. So again, jump, lunge, twist. Take whatever level that you need. Let's do it. Jerry Hamilton, your response. Thomas, that was a real nice declaration. Welcome to the present. We're running a real nation. Would you like to join us? Or staying mellow, doing whatever the hell it is you doing, Monticello. If we assume the debts, the union gets a new line of credit, a financial diuretic, how do you not get it? If we're aggressive and competitive, the union gets a boost. You'd rather give it a sedative. A civics lesson from a slave or hey neighbor. Let it go. Ooh. All right, this is our halfway point. Ask yourself right now, what have you got left in the tank? What are you gonna need to pull back? What can you push a little bit more? Whew. All right, take that rest. You kick the heels into the booty. Got a lot of hip flexion today between squats, lunges, hip hinges. So if you wanna stretch out those hips for a second, go for it. But let's start it up. This is two shits. Hey, turn around, bend over. I'll show you where my shoe fits. Excuse me. Madison, Jefferson, take a walk. Hamilton, take a walk. 
We're gonna reconvene after a brief recess. Hamilton, sir, a word. You don't have the votes. You don't have the votes. <laughs> You're gonna need congressional approval and you don't have the votes. Such a blunder, sometimes it makes me wonder why I even bring the thunder. Let it go. Whew. I got stuck down there for one rep. <laughs> okay, reaches with the up down. Let your heart rate come down. And remember that the goal here, we always wanna remember the why behind the exercise, right? The goal is to shift our body weight in different positions without moving the hips. That's your obliques working. So widening the feet is definitely gonna help that. Here we go, y'all. Start her up. And ships, and so their balance shifts. We rendezvous with Rochambeau, consolidate their gifts. We can end this war in Yorktown, cut them off at sea, but for this to succeed, there's someone else we need. I know. Stand it up, let it go. Whew. Good morning, lateral shuffle. Ah. It always surprises people, I feel like like how high their heart rate can get in something like a plank exercise. When we think of hit, we usually just think of all of the jumping to get our heart rate up, which like, that's a tool. We're using it in here, but it doesn't need to be all jumping. Here we go, five seconds. Let's go. The Reynolds pamphlet. Have you read this? Alexander Hamilton had a tour in a fair. And he wrote it down right there. Highlight. The charge against me is a connection with one James Reynolds. For purposes of improper speculation, my real crime is an amorous connection with his wife. For a considerable time, with his knowing consent. I had frequent meetings with her, most of them in my own house. And drop it down. All right. We got our crab toe taps. Ooh. So with this one, I want you to try and get your hips up an inch higher this time. That's something that I always have to keep reminding myself of. So trying to press those hips up. 10 seconds. And then we're gonna go for it. Get your crab set up and let's do it. Angelica, thank God someone who understands what I'm struggling here to do. I'm not here for you. I know my sister like I know my own mind. You will never find anyone as trusting or as kind. I love my sister more than anything in this life. I will choose her happiness over mine every time. Put what we had aside. I'm standing at her side. You can never be satisfied. God, I hope you're satisfied. Let it go. All right. Jump, lunge, twist. Then this ends round three. And you know what that means. Then we only have one more after this. 15 more seconds of rest. Let your heart rate come down. So this is probably the most challenging out of all of the exercises. If you're having knee pain, if you're having trouble aligning your joints, take the jump out. Master the basics, the foundation first. Let's do it. Immigrant decorated war vet Unite the colonies through more debt Fight the other founding fathers till he has to forfeit Have it all, lose it all You ready for more yet? Treasury Secretary Washington's the president Every American experiment sets a precedent Not so fast, someone came along to resist him Let it go Hoo, hoo, hoo All right, 30 seconds of rest Last round um, I should have totally said this in the first one, but if you do not like the jumping in our seal jack squat, you can always make it a step out instead. And I'm like super making it a sumo squat. If I'm being honest, I don't super care if the toes are turned out or forward. So I'm not gonna be super picky about whether it's sumo or regular. I care more about the explosiveness. So let's do it, last round. There is no more 
status quo. But the sun comes up and the world still spins. I held life, I had draft a declaration. Then I said, I gotta go. I gotta be in Monticello. Now the work at home. Let it go. Drop it down. Whew. All right. Now that sweat's coming. Final round of these. So again, ask yourself, how can I increase the intensity if it doesn't feel hard enough? Can you speed it up? Um, that's pretty much it in this exercise. If you're not doing it on the knee or on the toes, make sure that you're trying it on the toes. Here we go. Set it up, legs wide. Let's do it, last round. Hand it up. Woo. All right. Coming up. Good morning. Lateral shuffle. I just realized this is probably the only workout that I don't have push ups in. So it's probably a good day for you. <laughs> I'm going to start on this side this time just to change her up. Less than 10. Final round of these. Remember, you want more intensity? Make that a jump squat before you start shuffling. Two and one. Let's go. Where have you been, uh, France? Uh, we have to win. Well, what did I miss? What, what did I miss? What did I miss? Head first into a political abyss. Head first into the abyss. I have my first cabinet meeting today. I guess I better think of something to say. I'm already gone my way to get to the bottom of this. What did I miss? Oh, Mr. Jefferson, well, let it go. Ooh. Bring it down to your mat. Ooh. Just popping my hips here <laughs> before I head down. Ooh, okay. I do always feel bad for you guys, though, during these hit workouts. You gotta listen to me breathe and pant. But just know, I'm right there with you, okay? <laughs> Here we go, just about five seconds. Crab toe taps, last round. See if you can speed it up without sacrificing form. Let's go. 1781. Monsieur Hamilton. Monsieur Lafayette. In command where you belong. Are you saying no sweat? We're finally on the field, we've had quite a run. Immigrants, we get the job done. So what happens if we win? I go back to France. I bring freedom to my people if I'm given the chance. We'll be with you when you do. Go, lead your man. I'll see you on the other side. Till we meet again. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like Drop it down. <sighs> okay. Jump, lunge, twist. This kills me. Okay. We got it, y'all. Final exercise. Then we cool it down. So this is it. So ask yourself right now. Can I make this more challenging? Can I empty the tank in this moment? So let your heart rate come down, regain a little bit of energy, let your muscles restore. And we got five seconds. Let's go, let's take it home. Three, two, and one, let's do it. How did we know that this plan would work? We had a spy on the inside, that's right. Hercules Mulligan! I tell a spy on the British government. I take the measurements, information, and then I smuggle it. Up to my brother's revolutionary covenant. I'm running with the sons of liberty, and I am loving it. See, that's what happens when you up against the ruffians. We in the shit now, somebody's gotta shovel it. Hercules Mulligan, I need no introduction. When you knock me down, I get the fuck back up again. Yeah. Let it go. All right. Whew. Kick those heels under the booty. Awesome. Push today. <sighs> so if this was your first time working out with me, or if it was your first HIT workout with me, hopefully it can show you that HIT doesn't need to be like all jumping, all sprints. We can definitely push ourselves whew, to get that heart rate up and down in some very functional movements that are not just gonna wreck our joints. <laughs> Nothing wrong with jumping, but we wanna make sure that we're strengthening the muscles around the knees so that we don't crush them. 
Beautiful, let's take a standing hamstring stretch. So flexing one heel in front, pull the hips back, keep that spine nice and flat. If you're looking for a little bit longer stretch, there are a ton of them within the Fit Club stretch portal. If you are a member, I would definitely recommend, honestly for this one, I would recommend the five minute post dance class stretch, simply because this did have a good deal of jumping. So that would be a nice one to use for this. Good, last thing, we'll just turn the toes out, stretching out through those hips, the shoulders. All right, bringing those feet underneath the hips. Let's take a nice deep breath up, big inhale. Big exhale, pull it down into heart center, take it with you for your day and make some noise. Awesome push today, fantastic work. Any questions as always, leave them in that comment box below, but otherwise I will see you all in the next one.